Hey, what's up? Today we are going to talk about a nice little protocol that can really be useful whenever you use enums in your code. So I'm going to start by pasting in an enum. So it's an enum called order status. And as we can see, it contains all the possible status that an order could have in an e-commerce app. So the order can be in preparation, shipped and delivered. Okay, so that's something pretty standard. And I'm sure that most of you, you have something similar in one of your apps. Okay, now let's say that I want to have in a variable all the possible status. So my variable is going to be of type array of order status. And well, I can make this array by hand. So it can be in preparation, shipped, and then delivered. So I've made the array by hand. Of course, when there are only three cases, it's not that annoying, but still we've had to make it by hand, which means that if, for instance, I add a new case, for instance, a case returned. So let me add it. Well, the array has not been updated manually, you know, I would have to update it manually. And what's bad is that if I forget to make the modification, so if I forget to add this new case, well, there is actually nothing in my code is going to let me know. There is no compiler warning or compiler error. So it's not a great solution. And this is where the protocol case iterable comes into play. So this protocol is super useful because you just need to make your enum implement this protocol and just by doing this, now your enum is going to have a variable called all cases. So it's a static variable and it's an array that indeed contains all the possible cases of the enum. So I'm going to print the content of the array and we're going to see what is printed to the console. So let me move the console a little bit up like this and then run the code. And you can see that indeed in the array, we have the four possible cases. And what's super nice is that let's say I comment out one of the possible cases. Well, as we can expect, the array is going to be updated immediately. So that's what the protocol case iterable is about. It's this super nice protocol that your enum only need to implement. And then the compiler is going to automatically synthesize this all cases computed property that will return an array that contain all the cases. And this property, well, of course, it can be super useful in your app if at some point you need to have an array with all the possible cases. But there is one place where it usually is very useful. It's in your test. Because in your test, very often, you're going to have the need to have this array. And if you didn't know about this protocol, well, very possibly you are making this array by hand. Now you know that you don't need it. You just need to make your enum conform to case iterable. So that's it for this short video. Once again, simple and straight to the point. Thank you for watching it and see you next time.